What's it about? It's like a reward. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 legal things you can do in America that are banned in other countries. So we're going to sell that, but we're also going to sell incandescent bulbs. And people are so happy about it. It's really been pretty amazing. For this list, we'll be looking at things that are lawful in the United States, but illegal elsewhere. Do you think any of these should be illegal in the U.S.? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Weird Baby Names In the land of the free, Americans are welcome to name their kids just about anything they want. Well, we've narrowed it down to a few. We like Kimberly. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Consequently, you've likely seen news articles about people giving their newborn children highly unconventional names. You named your kid Han Solo? Yes, sir. Han Solo Burger. In contrast, some other countries have strict laws. For example, you reportedly can't name your kid Batman in Australia. Or panties, or lol, spinach, or circumcision. Oh, all the good ones. Denmark is even more restrictive. Their law on personal names requires residents to choose from a pre-approved list that includes 18,000 names for boys and 22,000 names for girls. You want a beautiful name? Soda. <laughs> You can get an exemption, but it requires authorization from a church and is subject to government review. Pull your mask down. You're supposed to be watching the damn dog, right? I say about using my government name, Michael. Number nine, too much ketchup in school cafeterias. A staple of virtually every American food establishment, ketchup is the condiment of choice for many people. However, in 2011, it was reported that ketchup had been banned from school cafeterias, except with French fries. Where's the ketchup at? However, children could only enjoy french fries once a week. Once a week? <laughs> the government issued the decree to ensure a healthier diet in schools and also to preserve Gallic cuisine. We wonder if any French kids rebelled by smuggling packets or, heaven forbid, whole bottles of ketchup into school. Daring indeed. Okay, it's risky. You need an intro. You need someone to vouch. Number eight, turning right on red. Across the United States, it's perfectly acceptable to turn right on a red light at an intersection. Unless you're in New York City, where it's only allowed at certain intersections. Hey, Einstein, it's a red light! Hey, I'm walking here! In Canada, it's banned on the island of Montreal. However, many countries have banned it nationwide. For example, a right turn on red is generally not allowed in Europe. The equivalent in Australia and New Zealand, a left turn on red, is also banned, except where signs or green arrows indicate otherwise. Go back and turn right! We do not turn right! I know Paris! So do I! In fact, it's easier to find countries where turning on red is illegal or permitted only with special signage than where it's normal, as in the U.S. Number 7. Baby walkers. Baby walkers allow infants to walk before they've developed the ability to do so unassisted. However, some studies have found that the devices actually delay development, and they also cause quite a few injuries. In the U.S., they're responsible for a few thousand emergency room visits a year. Kids can't see what's in front of them, and uh, oftentimes can result in a pretty severe injury. Due to safety concerns, the sale of baby walkers has been banned in Canada since 2004. It's also illegal to own one. People who own baby walkers can be fined up to 100,000 Canadian dollars or even jailed for six months. Guess who just freed his dad from Canadian prison? Number six, Valentine's Day. It's a day for people to celebrate their love for one another. Sales of roses and chocolates skyrocket, and couples everywhere take a day to revere each other. What do you say we have ourselves a perfect day? Oh, mama. That is, unless you live in one of the few countries that have banned St. Valentine's Day. Why no Valentine? In Pakistan, the Islamabad High Court has banned public celebrations of the holiday. There have also been crackdowns in Saudi Arabia, although it's gaining more acceptance. We have two holidays only, Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. As Muslims, we only celebrate these two holidays. Some cities in Indonesia have banned celebrations too. The biggest reason has been the idea that it conflicts with Islamic culture and that it represents a Western tradition. Number five, adultery. Adultery is actually still a crime in 17 U.S. states. However, these laws are rarely enforced. Other states have abolished such laws altogether. You can still face serious penalties in other countries, though, especially as a woman. In the Philippines, only a wife can be charged with adultery, although a husband can face charges of concubinage. In Pakistan, adultery can be punished with death. 
it's actually difficult for women to report assault and not face adultery charges. You can also face execution for adultery in Saudi Arabia, Iran, and Sudan. In other places, such as Uganda and Rwanda, you may face a prison sentence and a fine. Number four, incandescent light bulbs. When Thomas Edison demonstrated his light bulb design in 1879, he may have known that he was onto something revolutionary. However, the bulb came with key flaws, specifically inefficiency and a short lifespan. With the emergence of CFL and LED lights, many countries have phased out the older bulbs in favor of less power-hungry alternatives. They include Canada, Australia, Russia, Brazil, and the entire European Union. Your initial investment in a bulb is a lot higher in a CFL bulb or an LED bulb, but you will recover that cost through the duration of the bulb, um, also in the energy savings. The European Commission calculates that the ban contributes billions to the economy and significantly reduces CO2 emissions. The U.S. had plans to follow suit, but was left behind when politics got in the way. The bulb that we're being forced to use, number one to me, most importantly, the light's no good, I always look orange. Number three, bounty hunters. Okay, showtime. When someone is charged with a crime and gets out on bail, it's essentially a contract binding the individual to return to court at a later date. You mind if I search your house? Oh, well, can, can I ask you what for? Yeah, I've got a warrant for her husband. In the United States, a defendant can hire a bail bondsman to put up the money for bail. Should the defendant run, the bondsman can employ a bounty hunter to track them down. The state places a bounty on a man's head. I track that man, I find that man, I kill that man. After I've killed him, I transport that man's corpse back to the authorities. Bounty hunters aren't subject to the same legal restrictions as official law enforcement, giving them advantages otherwise unavailable. Although they were common worldwide for many years, they're now considered illegal virtually everywhere but the U.S. He's gotten all of them so far. How many has he gotten? Uh, four. It's also a major reason why American bounty hunters have no jurisdiction outside their own country. Number two, BHA and BHT preservatives. I'm Clark W. Griswold. I'm in food additives and condiments, not preservatives. Not preservatives! Butylated hydroxyanisole and butylated hydroxytoluene are two preservatives that you may have likely never heard of nor can easily pronounce. Both of these are used as a means to prevent oxidation, which can cause food to spoil. Unfortunately, however, research has found that both can contribute to cancer in rats. In addition, a U.S. government report indicated that BHA is likely to cause cancer in human beings. As a result of the dangers, many countries have banned these chemicals from use. The United States Food and Drug Administration, however, has deemed them generally recognized as safe, which is why they are found in most packaged foods within the U.S. And the exciting part is, is that they have no ingredients that a human can pronounce. So it doesn't leave you with that heavy food feeling in your stomach. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, plastic bags. The 21st century has seen a rise in movements towards a more eco-friendly culture. Mr. McKay says that history is past, but saving the Earth is our present to the future. One target of these has been the single-use plastic bag. Seen in virtually every supermarket and convenience store, the world has slowly been moving to reduce the use of these bags. These policies were very successful in reducing the number of grocery bags used. However, sales of garbage bags skyrocket. Many countries have outright banned them, while others have imposed taxes or surcharges on the use of the bags in an effort to encourage the use of reusable ones. However, the United States has seen very little momentum here. Saving the Earth while maintaining profitability. A few states and cities have joined in, but by and large, the U.S. remains a safe haven for the throwaway sacks. Bobby, I will have you know that I consider myself to be one of the great environmentalists of my time. I have a plastic grocery bag filled with plastic grocery bags that I will bring back to the grocery store one day. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.